chap in the lodge though he works on boats apparently and he's looking forward to a nice weekend off because it's going to piss down Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So, the Scottish weather has caught up with me. There's rain on the inside of my visor, which is always helpful. Come on, here we go. Um, I'm gonna head to my leg to pick up some fuel. I might get a Wi Fi signal when I'm there, you never know. Or some form of internet signal. I don't know. Um, we'll come back to what the hotel is like in a little bit. Second time he's done that, I'm not happy. So, good morning. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. The sun is shining, the birds are singing. Yes, it's a bit damp. The Scottish weather has caught up with me, and yeah, they, it was kind of predicted. Uh, in theory, as I head south in a couple of hours, it should disappear. Not currently convinced. I was thinking about adding in a stop as well. I think the weather's going to be too crap for me to do it. So I'm off to get some fuel. I think I should do that first to be on the safe side. Pretty sure my leg will have a petrol station. Just for clarity, I've not got the 360 cameras on at the minute. I don't think it's worth it. It's just too damp and disgusting to be honest. And I'm debating whether to take the short route back. I don't really want to do, particularly if it's going to brighten up, but... but if the weather stays bad, I, it, the route does include a ferry and... Yeah... I think the safe option is just heading for the hotel. so that I can, I shouldn't really be doing this here. We have a signal at least. Yeah, we're going to go over Glen for now, I think. I was going to go around the coast, but... Yeah, so I was going to head around the coast. Oh, not now. I'll head inland. Let's go in for then. I think that'll be the way to do it. So I think this is the week's rain roll into one, to be honest. I'd like to say, oh yes, I could stay in the hotel lounge for a couple of hours, but, well, I don't know about that. No, I think, if I come into this much rain yesterday and got as wet as even I am now, the room I was in would not have been big enough. I mean, it's the cheapest hotel of the trip. Was a single room. But yeah. From the weather forecast, the rain up here is not going to end. Not today. Possibly not for the weekend. So, it is kind of a 
do I go now knowing that the rain's not going to ease up or do I wait and see if it will ease up and I don't think it's going to ease up, not for a while, so... Yeah... This really is quite disgusting. So one of the options I was looking at was going down there, which is a back road, it winds for a little bit, but not in this weather. Yeah, I think I'm right not to put the, the other cameras on. I think the wind is... Uh, it has the potential to break everything, I think. It certainly won't get much good footage with all the rain. Turn off the headset because I just can't hear the instructions. But that's how bad the wind is. Oh, Jesus. What I can be really grateful for, of course, is that this isn't happening on the first day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I should say whether or not I would stay at that uh, hotel again. I, I, I wouldn't rule it out. I wouldn't rule it out. I don't think it would be my first choice for the area. And as I've not been to any of the others, that is kind of saying something. But I wouldn't rule out staying there again. Um, there was a single room. It was quite small. The bathroom, shower room was tiny. But I suspect it's an old, old hotel and they're trying to put all mod cons into an old hotel. I say all mod cons, I mean the bathroom looked fairly new. You know, in terms of style and whatnot, so we're talking the oh, last five years. Um, it did look particularly clean, I'll give it that, so maybe it's a refresh. It did smell a little bit of paint, so maybe they've painted over the winter. a tea provision. Two tea bags is not enough, just even for one person. Um, the things I didn't like are kind of minor. I mean, aside from the size of the room, it could have been a bit bigger. There wasn't even enough room for a table. He had a, a, an enlarged windowsill to uh, put stuff on. Um, which is the wrong side of the bed. Well, I mean, it's the right side of the bed, really. You don't want to waste space, and uh, obviously, if you've got to get to the bathroom, you don't want to block access to that. So, you know, I mean, that's kind of how small the room was. There wasn't room to put the bed in the middle of the room and have room to get around it. The things I didn't particularly like, well, okay, I say it's the little things that put me off. It's not that I didn't like them per se. Um, the kettle is one of those ones that has a base, um, which is separate from the kettle, so you can walk around the room with the kettle switched off, obviously, if you needed to. You did kind of need to to get it to the sink, whatever. Um, Christ. I'm going to have to concentrate for a minute. Oh, and then the wind dies down. Phew. Okay, so... That's a bit better. So, yeah, the kettle is one of these sort of... base electrical unit sort of things. Where you lift the kettle off. Um, but the base was very definitely from a different kettle from the one that was provided in the room. I mean, it worked. If they get me wrong, it worked, but... Yeah. Not the right kettle or not the right base. Um, and the toilet seat was too small. There you go. <laughs> Those are the things I, I didn't like about it. Or, or, you know, sort of 
well could be better and you know sorry the they can't really help but it's, it, it is what it is I seem to remember when I booked it that it said breakfast was included but I get there and it's oh you booked room only do you want breakfast for extra and I'm like yeah no so that's another little niggle I don't know maybe I misread it maybe there was an option to put in breakfast and I just I didn't see it maybe I don't know anyway ran over it's half the video that might not be a bad thing so this was the point I was going to turn right and I was going to head down the coast and I don't think that's a wise choice today I was going to head down there um, I'm sure it's a lovely road the A61 or the A861 I should say but yeah I don't, given the weather I don't think it's a wise choice not from the point of view of being dangerous necessarily but from the sort of the length of time it'll take combined with the weather combined with the added risk of potential you know I say it's not necessarily a high risk but it is a risk so we're heading down via Glenfinnan clear dry day I think that would be the better route to take but we're going this way there are a couple of things I can point out down here though at least well, potentially anyway assuming the weather's not too bad and that's not those trees there are similar trees to those that I'm looking out for but it's not those trees they are not in the water they're not in the water anyway well maybe it is no, no, it is that, I think. Have they cleared this away? So, that, potentially, can't be that. No, it can't be that. There must be another one. Could it be that? I don't know. Dumbledore's grave. Have you seen the Harry Potter movies? I don't think it is that one. I think it's further along. Oh no, it's round here. It is round here. It's not that one. I don't know how easy it's going to be to see from the road. That's oh, over there. You might be able to make it out through the trees. Maybe. Over there. Maybe. Dumbledore's Grave, from Harry Potter's movies. A little island over there. I'm not sure the camera can quite get round to it. On a dry day with 360 camera, I'd give you a nice easy shot of that. Uh, Dumbledore's Grave, from the Harry Potter movies. Again, this would have been a lovely view in the drive, but nope.
it obvious in the dry. I should say really, this is the last day of riding and I might end up putting it all in one video rather than splitting it over two, but because of the weather and whatnot, but yeah, there, there's another day of basically riding home, that's probably now just going to be motorway, so I don't think I'll bother recording anything. Um, so I'll say now I hope you've uh, enjoyed watching until this point, maybe you're enjoying my torture daring to come to Scotland in March. So there's a monument, Glenfinnan Viaduct is just about visible over there. Glenfinnan Viaduct, as you may be aware, is most famous for being in a certain Hollywood blockbuster movie or date. Yes, it's another Harry Potter base. I'm pretty sure it wasn't one of the 39 steps, part one of the scenes there filmed at Glenfinnan. I'm sure there are other movies that have used it. If you can think of them, list them in the comments. But obviously the most famous one is, is all those um, Harry Potter movies. I would stop and have a look around, but... Not today. can you be that you have to do that? Well, I guess that's a thumbnail. <laughs> Holy shit! So I'll go through what I think happened and I'll leave you guys to theorise whether I'm right or wrong. Sprint ST has twin headlights, they're about the same brightness. About the same shape. In fact, they are the same shape. And they're not right next to each other, there's a little gap where the main central headlight is. The high beam. Now there's a... Well, I'll call it a theory because some people don't believe it. Um, I happen to be a believer of it. The 
the theory is this. The driver not either not being able to see or not being able to or, you know, sort of distinguish sees two headlights like I can see for this car ahead and thinks this is the two headlights doesn't really distinguish the shape of the vehicle and thinks it's a car that's quite far away because the headlights are symmetrical and so it goes for the move thinking he has plenty of space and then at some point he realises actually he's wrong it's not a car that's in the distance it's a motorbike that's pretty damn close these are small but the ones out there are far away now I'll be honest there are situations where this definitely can't happen but there are very definitely situations where it can small Far away. And I remember once making use of this uh, weather on my way to work, looking down the road that had twists and turns and hills and whatnot, and I was turning onto this road. I look down the road and I see a car in the distance, and I look the look to the right, see the car, I look to the left, and I'm about to go and I look back to the right, and there's a cyclist there with a with a light on the front of his bike. I mean, it's rare enough they have lights on the front of their bike, I suppose, but yeah. And I think what it was, was that there was this cyclist and then there was something else in the distance that happened to look roughly distant enough to be a car on another part of the road and my brain just went, yeah, it's a car down there, rather than, hey, there's a cyclist there. You know? So I think it can happen. I think it does happen. And I think people need to recognise that it happens. soon gonna have to make another choice um, there's another scenic route I was gonna take but again in this weather I just don't think it's a wise choice to make I was gonna go around Kinloch Levin again or Loch Levin I should say Kinloch Levin is the town at the end what I might do is just pull into this petrol station for a minute and uh, see what we can decide I just don't think that's going to be a wise choice. Um, so I think we're going to head inland. Yeah, around through Glencoe, I think. So the camera value may die. It will die. Um, and I'm, I'm basically going to make a beeline for the hotel, I think. So, yeah, let's get rid of all routing points. In fact, um, have we got a signal we have? I'm just going to go to Waze instead. Uh, so, 91 miles, 2 hours, 5 minutes, some of which will be through Glencoe. Um, at least, pretty sure it will be. Maybe it'll dry out a bit as I get there. I don't know. So this is Fort William. My brother we were based here last year and it was a well damp, it wasn't wet, it was damp. Had it been this damp, uh, yeah my brother would not have ventured outside the hotel. <laughs> I think even he would admit to that. Last year you can see the other shore. Oh, you can just about see the other shore. Well, with my eyes, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. It says it's still recording. 
This is indeed a test of how waterproof the camera is. <laughs> With the media mod on, I might add. Which it says, it is not waterproof. So this is the sort of area where the weather map was saying maybe by midday it might uh, it might start to clear up a bit. It's 11 o'clock now. Mm, I don't think it's going to be clearing up for a while. This is the thing with trips sometimes, is that you, you know, you can't control the weather make the best guesses and when you even like the start of a tour like a week before you can't be sure what the weather's gonna be like at the end of the week unless it's the summer in Africa or something you know the bit of route I was gonna do today really does seem to thwart me I was gonna do it last year but it, it looked like the weather was gonna be too bad so we didn't do it this year the weather is too bad so we're not doing it for one year I think I've achieved what I wanted to achieve from the week, though. And well, that's something. This was kind of a, well, I need to get back somehow, kind of, uh, of a route. <laughs> and not really wanting to do Glencoe again, you know. This was 60 but reduced to 30 for some reason last year and everyone was ignoring the 30 but I'm sure it was 60 rather than 50. I don't know. Clement? I can't remember. Yes, it was. Yeah, it's... Given the weather, I think it's going to be too too dangerous to go down there. Or is it this one? Loch Leven, I shall down there. Anyway, it, it's one of those two. And it's lovely. It goes right the way around the loch. But if you want to see that, you'll need to go to another video of mine from last year. down to Oban. That was going to be the way I went. Uh, down past Castle Stalker of Monty Python fame. Not today. Not like in the wind again. if I get stuck behind the lorry, so I don't particularly want to let him by for that reason. But it's clear he does want to go. But he'd just be stuck behind this car anyway, so... Come 
Oh, the do potholes on the side of the road. Well, the lorry driver wasn't ready for it. He had to go to the other side of the road to avoid me. The one behind me, I mean. Just because I don't want that lorry stuck behind me. See if we can get some distance. me a little bit with that lorry behind because he clearly avoided the really went to that lane to avoid me but I saw the flashing yellow lights a long way away so why was he that close to me why wasn't he slowing down you know just say It's a lot of water. This is where me and my brother regularly park up. I say that the last two years we have. That is Skyfall Road. There's a filming location down there. Last it will be perfectly fine, I think, to actually go down there today, even with this wind. I just want to get out of the weather. So, yeah. I'm not enjoying these crosswinds. I'm really not. Cafe with stunning views. Jesus. I don't think there's going to be stunning views today. Enjoying this one little bit. Please 
tell me this ends soon. fucking wind. Somewhat scary. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, scary is the right word. Safe to say this is the least enjoyable trip through Glencoe I've had. Back to only having the rain to contend with, I think, for now. The other route would have been more sheltered, but not necessarily better. I'll be getting wet for longer. Um, and the road surface wouldn't necessarily be as good, so you know, there's pros and cons to, to both routes. I wasn't expecting the wind to be that high, though, to be honest. No, for next time. in that high I would have gone the other way without question I would have gone the other way one of the downsides of touring between hotels particularly when you've sort of pre-booked them um, is that when a day comes along like this where it is frankly awful weather you don't really have a choice try and work around it if you've got a few days left in the tour or whatever. Um, but I haven't. So, yeah, I, I should be home by tomorrow night. So, uh, yeah. I think if 
that's the road I would have come down had I taken the route I was intending to take, I think it is. So we're about halfway. We're about halfway. Do you know what? I'm going to change battery. We'll record the entire journey. Um, if I can remember which battery it is, I need to change two. Um, so I'll see you in a moment. Kind of bad when you can't even get your fucking glove on. Oh, that's where it's caught. indicator you clearly know where you're going well you can't just pull into the car park I do not know maybe he's just getting out of the way of that car I don't know so about an hour's ride left to the hotel I'd picked one that I wear. I know I've got a radiator, but never mind. Should be warm if nothing else. I'm not going very quickly, and I want out of this weather, my friend. processing with experience through Glencoe and it's just yeah wow um, I will be glad to be at the hotel if I'm honest in fact at this rate I could probably ride home today um, but I would freeze if I did being honest um, Hotel will give respite and some a chance to dry off a bit. I know some people are going to say, "Oh, yeah, you should have good wet gear, etc." And that's a fair point. I should have good wet gear. Um, I'm not sure it would have helped me through Glencoe that wind. I think it's just only one more thing for the wind to grab hold of and pull me around. But yeah, in, in terms of staying dry, yes, yeah, that would have done me good. I mean, I think this gear does quite well at keeping me dry, to be honest. I'm not cold, well, my hands are a little cold, but because the gloves aren't that good and the waterproof the water suit wouldn't uh, let's say the rain gear the rain gear wouldn't have helped with that at all because um, it doesn't cover my hands so all my feet plastic bags for them I wore my uh, rain suit, the war 
water found its way through, so and that was only on a half hour road to work, although it was quite heavy rain. You don't need to uh, guess for too long for where it got through. I'm being very slow and careful around these corners, but you know. indication of how quickly the weather can change in Scotland. <laughs> Today is an illustration. Holy crap. Yesterday was perfectly nice. The day before perfectly nice. Today really awful. draw a close to my Scotland trip. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed watching me particularly suffer during this video but I hope it inspires you to come up and enjoy Scotland if you haven't already or maybe you just need that little bit of oomph to plan your next trip to Scotland because you're really hundreds of times before you just don't know where to go. Maybe, I don't know. Who knows? Sure this video will have done any good to you but um yeah maybe it's just made you want to get out on your bike for well i guess the summer's over now by the time you've seen this isn't it <laughs> is it going to be august july august i don't know um but yes hopefully it's uh, some form of entertainment for you. Oh well, nearly at the hotel. I'm not rushing it. I could do 70 down here, I'm not. Too cold and tired to be doing that. into the hotel yet so 
guess we're going to go and find some food. Try and warm up a little bit that way. Right, that's it for the day then. Can't see me venturing out at any point later, so oh yeah, I can see the splits of rain coming down again. So, this is it. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Until the next video, be good humans. Ta ta for now. go through here but I will um, don't know if that's the way in all the way out but it has smaller puddles